lady just called me. She said she has a rattlesnake in her garage and it's caught in a rat trap. So to, to undo the trap, this has to go down, right? Okay, just picked up a couple of heel monsters. Hey, we just got a notification of kind of an interesting one. A person in Casa Grande was taking apart their old shed and found a couple of Gila monsters underneath it. So wasn't sure what to do. Gathered them up and took them to a wildlife conservation center in Phoenix. And I'm gonna go get them from them to take them back and release them. So I was able to find out through them exactly where these Gila monsters were found. And from there, there's a really obvious place where they need to go. I'm sure that's where they live. And I'm sure they're gonna be happy to be back there. So I'm gonna go pick them up and drive down. So Gila monsters are a little bit more tricky to relocate than rattlesnakes. It's not that rattlesnakes are easy, but Gila monsters are very, very specific to particular holes and rocks and places that they live. They may have a much lesser ability to look at a dynamic situation like a relocation and find where they're supposed to be and survive. So in these kinds of situations where we don't know exactly where the Gila monster came from, a lot of times they end up not being able to go back. But in this case, the habitat is so obvious where they came from. So I got about an hour and a half drive to get to go pick them up. It is a beautiful day out here though. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of traffic. Okay, just picked up a couple of Gila monsters. Very pretty animals. And now we are headed another hour away to where they're gonna be released. Headed to a call in North Phoenix right now. Lady just called me. She said she has a rattlesnake in her garage and it's caught in a clamping kind of the rat traps. So I don't know how bad it's caught or anything like that. Um, so hopefully it's not caught too bad and I can unclamp it and it, it'll be fine. So I'm about 10 minutes away. So let's go see what we got. Hey, how's it going? Do this a lot. Oh yeah, every day. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna point. I don't do well with snakes. Okay. So, so he's caught? He's caught. Okay. You're gonna go straight into the back of the trailer and hang it right. Okay. You see him? Yes, I okay. see him. Okay. Oh boy. Because that would have been yeah, he's caught on there. Let's see. Uh, maybe, yeah, because they're pretty strong, huh? The, the, so to to undo the trap, this has to go down, right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what? It's not like it's like indented right now, so it looks pretty good. I don't think it did actually. Oh, oh so that's good. <laughs> he will not be in the neighborhood. He'll be back back in the desert. He won't come back. I promise. You 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 relocate. Yeah, we relocate him. Yeah, no, he looks. He's moving good. Yeah, actually, he looks good. He does. Looks good. We don't need to paint it. Don't need to harm him, but we don't want to lose him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not as like it's not as like bad as I thought. Oh, like the strength. How it this little one was caught in that rodent trap. Thankfully, it, it looks like it's okay. Its back doesn't seem squished. Ribs don't seem broken. It's moving good, so it seems good. So I'm gonna let it go because it's already stressed out. To go in this rodent hole here. Okay, I'm just marking it right there. See you later, buddy. All right, well, I'm happy I got to save that snake. It seems to be okay. Uh, it doesn't seem like it broke any bones, and I think it'll make a full recovery. It seems to be doing just fine, and it's back out in the desert, so it's a good day. So, this is a very large boulder pile 
it's pretty safe to say that this is an area that these animals know. They're just looking for a nice deep spot they can get into, and I think this is it, this crevice. That would be perfect, actually. To make sure they can get up into it. Heel monsters are actually really good at climbing, so I don't think they're gonna have trouble with it. Just gotta make sure the rock is not too hot. They actually hide a, a hook, ride a hook really well if given a chance. Those claws are incredibly sharp. They can climb right up in there. What do you think? Is that gonna work? How about you? I'm not sure how it's done. Well, just like that. He seems like he knows what to do. Okay. Steal the monster number two. Up into the crevice. There it goes. These guys are gonna be just fine. They're gonna be able to plug back into what they know. Obviously the shed isn't there anymore that they were found under, but they're gonna survive and they're gonna be good to go. Yeah, there. There's probably a few rattlesnakes in there too. I wanna to give a big thanks to Liberty Wildlife and Robert and Laura for um, organizing this so that we can get these animals back out to where they go. Um, and just a lot of trust and care for the animals that they're working with. If you haven't seen them before, look up Liberty Wildlife online or click this little link right over here and you can learn more about what they do. It's kind of like what we do with snakes, but for all the stuff with fur and feathers too. So it's good to meet people like that. Sun is gonna start setting soon and I'm already down here, so I'm gonna find a spot to go look for some snakes.